Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Kadash. Give double honors to our apostles and elders, great most on. I also want to say Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching truth and all truth in the city. Once again, you know, the brother Taz on Kabar coming through the spirit part of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. I'm going to better from GMS Miami, the heralds of Yahweh Shai 144 camp. And before I want to, you know, start this video, I want to touch upon the true names of the Heavenly Father, who they so called call God. His true name is. Or his true name is Yahweh, which is naming he is, he exists. And the true name of his son, who they so called call is Jesus. His true name is Yahweh, which is his name means he saves, he delivers, and which he's soon about to do according to prophecy. All right, and this is going to be another, little to, another short video. Just, you know, touch upon the milk. All right, going to the chosen people, understanding who's the chosen people unto the Lord. Okay, the chosen people who the Lord, you know, specifically set apart for himself. Are don't you know chosen people that the Lord gave the statutes and commandments to the chosen people who the Lord you know had a co made a covenant with and so which He's gonna make the same, which I'm uh, not even the same a better covenant, well a new covenant in the times to come. Okay, to the same chosen people. All right, which we understand through the Spirit is a nation of Israel. Okay, the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, are which are the chosen people. This is Deuteronomy chapter fourteen verse two. It says, um, this is Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. It says, for thou, art, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord, thy power, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself, but all the nations that are upon the earth. Okay. And it says, you know, a peculiar, and if I'm not mistaken, peculiar is a special. But let's go into that word holy real quick. You know, holy, I know, if I'm not mistaken, goes into a separate Sacred, holy, holy, set, set apart. All right, separate, set apart, same thing. All right, you know, how are we separate and, you know, set apart from these other nations? Because, you know, the law, statute, and commandments. Okay, the law, statute, and commandments are the two ways of life. All right, give us, you know, the true knowledge on how to live. Okay, how to move among certain situations, you know, even to how to, you know, till the earth and, you know, how to, you know, make food and so on so on man how to deal with one so with, with which one another you're yeah, right which you know i'm gonna grab it real quick just for edification's sake this is psalm 147 verse 19 it says he showed his words unto jacob who understand it was jacob name was switched which slack it which jacob name was changed into israel slack it you know, with Israel and the Hebrews, Yasharala, he prints power. All right. He showed his word unto Jacob and his statutes and judgment unto Israel. Okay. That's who the Lord, you know, revealed, it, you know, these law statute commandments unto to Jacob. All right. Nation of Israel, so called niggas, Latino, and Arab Americans, man. All right. So he has revealed his words to Jacob, his decrees and regulations, regulations to Israel. All right. That's the Lord's regulations on how to live, you know, how to move upon the earth. Okay, how to move upon amongst each other. All right, what is that one? Not the, you know, fuck, you know, the man's wife. Okay. How, um, honor the Sabbath day. Honor the Lord's name. Don't use it in vain. Okay, don't kill. Let me know murder. Okay. All right, you know, don't covet. But, you know, so on, so on. And you know, it's more it's more to it than just, you know, the the main ten commandments. Okay, but you go into it in verse twenty it says he had not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise you the Lord. How how do you know, you know, the Lord is dealing with the nation of Israel? All right, it's through the judgment that he sets upon them. Uh, the Lord constantly chastised the nation of Israel as a whole, man, even to this day. Uh, are they not under curses? All right, you read it, you read, um, which I'm not going to, you read the curses, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse, um, I believe verse 15, all the way down to 68, goes on to, you know, the curses. All right, the Lord punishing his people, his chosen people for not taking heed and not listening to him. All right, you know, basically treating them like a son, man. All right, the Lord, that's how the Lord treats his people, man, like a, you know, a father and son relationship. You don't listen to me, I'm going to beat your ass, plain and simple. But that's just tying back to the fact that the Lord has a special... And chose the people unto himself. Okay, this says I'm reading Deuteronomy 14, you know, verse 2, even even to Deuteronomy 14, verse 2. Our, I mean, 14 goes into certain, you know, 
laws, you know, that's what, you know, laws, you know, that was given until, you know, huh. <laughs> laws, you know, to nation of people. Our first time with a dietary law that was given to who? So called Negro Latino and they're Native Americans. Are right, certain things you give it to, you know, these people for a reason. Or right, you eat certain things, or so you may do something off, it might ha- it's going to have an effect on you. All right. The Lord is going to judge you. But if a heathen or, and you know, the heathens do it, it may nothing may not happen to them. Why? Because the Lord is not dealing with them. All right. Scripture says they, look, you know, he looked into them as spittle, which I'm going to grab, you know, you know, in a second. This is Deuteronomy 14, verse 2, once again, for thou art a holy people. So like, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a compelled people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Okay. It go, let's go into that word peculiar real quick. Which I, I believe peculiar goes into a special or valued. Okay, the spirit says possession, property, value. Okay, value, property. Peculiar tr- treasure. And what you read down, it's a special. Okay. You know, we're special people to the Lord, man. Okay. A peculiar, a possession. Okay. All right, special. Yes, the Lord has his favorites. You know, the Lord chose Jacob instead of Esau. Okay, the Lord didn't go with these heathens. Okay, but um, let's go into the second Ezra chapter 6. Okay, start verse 54. And after these, Adam also thou made his Lord of all thy creatures. All right, mind you, it was not just Adam and Eve. You know, the Lord had the Adamites. All right, but, you know, the Lord went through the loins. Of Adam, okay, you know, but it says, um, and after these, Adam also, whom the Lord made us Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou has chosen, okay, we came through the loins of Adam, all right, but the Lord chose that specific seed out of Adam, I wish that seed goes on to, you know, even to this day, would be so called Negro Latin Americans, man. It never changed. It was not one day the Lord chose to go with the so-called, you know, white man, see, or the so-called, you know, the Lord didn't choose to go with the Edomites then. One moment he chose to go with Jacob. No, nah, man, the Lord always had that specific seed, man, ever since the beginning. He said, all these have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou, thou made us the world for our sakes. All right, that's the, the, the world ultimately is for to be, supposed to be for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. The reason why the world is given to the hand of wicked was the so-called white man started Esau on down, okay, was, you know, that's, you know, who's ruling right now. It's because we went off. Okay, but in the, in the kingdom, it's not going to be like that. All right, it's going to be translated from one to another. Okay, starting with Yahweh Shai down. all right. It says, as for the other people who which also came of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing. Okay, he's talking about um, the other nations, the heathens. But be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto the drop that fall from a vessel. All right, this is what the Lord compares them to, uh, compare the heathens to, and the other nations which don't consist of Israel. Or the Lord could consider them to be as spittle. Okay, spit in like a drop unto a vessel. I remind you, remind, think about it like you have a bucket of water. All right, you walk with a bucket of water, and one drop fell on the ground. You think you're finna pick that little drop that fell on the ground? Hell the fuck no. If you do, you you, you, might, you might be bugged out, but <laughs> but no, nah, man, you're not gonna pick up that little drop. All right, the Lord is symbolizing that, okay? All right, showing you that uh, that he do have a chosen people, man. Mm-hmm. Let's see how if I can go down. I'm gonna just stop right there, but um, also I got another precept. I'm not trying to make the video too long, neither. I've now First Peter two and nine, I believe, a chosen generation. Yeah, this is First Peter two and nine. It says, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation. All right, once again we go into that word holy means set apart, basically separate, a peculiar, which peculiar we went to again, which means special. Okay, special people that you should shoot forth the praise of him who are called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. All right, going back to um, 
the Lord, knowing who the Lord is dealing with, you know, that holy nation, that same holy nation, that same procured people who forth the praise of him that called you out of the darkness into some marvelous light, ultimately, you know, from, you know, always within this world into this truth. Okay, but going to tie back to the topic, all right, specific, specifically talking about that chosen people, man, I mean, that chosen nation. All right, you read on down when it's the darkness of Marvel's light. That's talking about the Lord, you know, bringing out, bringing out His men, or ultimately, ultimately the elect out of darkness, you know, ways of the world into His truth, man, into the light. All right, but the, the Lord, men, what what nation do they come from? Okay, from a nation, the nation of Israel. Okay, it's not like the man of the Lord sprang 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 out as heathens. <laughs> no, man. The Lord all, always been dealing, it's like it. The Lord always been dealing, dealing with, you know, his people, man. All right. All right. But, you know, just simply just a quick little video just talking about the chosen people. All right. The chosen people unto the most high. All right. The so-called Negroes, Latin, and Americans. All right. Also, too, you know, I did bring out the point that, okay, how you know, you know, it's because it's of them. Because the Lord made out that made the first covenant with them. And the new covenant is gonna be made with the same people again. Because talking about, oh, because they broke the first one, all right, the Lord's gonna make another one, roughly paraphrasing. Let me bring it out just for case for sake. It's not the Lord gonna make a covenant with the, the Israelites and just fuck it. I'm finna make a covenant with everybody. No, man. It's Hebrews chapter eight, verse eight. For fighting fought with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, would I make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It didn't say with the house house of everybody. <laughs> it didn't say the house of the heathens. Okay, the house of the enemies. No, man, the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. All right. And it, say, well, it says, Now according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them out of their hand. Took them by the land, by the hand to lead them out the land of Egypt because they continued not in the covenant, and I regarded them not," said the Lord. All right, and who was led out of Egypt, man? Was everybody led led out the land of Egypt? No. Okay, the Israelites were led, led out the land of Egypt. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days," said the Lord. "I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts." And I'll be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. Okay. Same, same chosen, chosen people. The Lord is talking about. Uh, same people in where in the kingdom they're gonna be lost. That's your commandments rooted within them, programming through righteousness. Okay, the same, the same, the same, the same people. The Lord gave the lost. That's your commandments. Not the the whole world. The Lord wasn't dealing with the whole world. All right, the Lord was only dealing with the so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. All right. You know, it always been like that, and it always will. All right. The Lord don't change. He's saying yesterday, today, and forever. But um, Lord of the field, edify only to give all praise to Yahweh by Sim Yahshai by Shun Kakadash. The double honor to our apostles, elders, and great ones. I'm going to say so long to all the Akim. Peace of truth and all truth of the city. Abba Tham, Wa Shalom.